All right, if you guys haven't seen the last video, make sure you guys go check out the last video. It is freaking crazy out here at the ranch right now. I swear we probably just saw a hippo swimming through the ranch. I don't even know what's going on out here today. It is not fun. It is a depressing day. The Gucci gang thinks it's fun. It's not fun, Gucci gang. You guys um, stay over there. You guys have wet feet. It's freaking a lot of water out here. It's crazy. It's scary. Look behind you guys. Captain. I'm shivering. I'm going to fall. Oh my god. I'm my foot. I might be laughing and stuff, but it's not really that funny. The reason why it's not funny is because I'm just like, I guess I'm putting my like happiness, my upset. No, I don't freaking know you guys. We joke when we're upset. There you go. That's a, that's a good one. Bro. Muck. Muck everywhere. Captain Bear is having a great old time. All right, Captain. You ready? I'm gonna pick up your nasty ass and we're gonna go over there. Ah, there's a bug on me. Yeah, get there's a lot of spiders. Get Be off. careful. Get off. Get off. That was a grasshopper. You're okay on that one. It was itching me. All right, you ready, guys? Start backing up. I'm gonna pick him up in two seconds. Okay. He's actually lighter because he's going to rut a lot. Oh, I'm going to fall again. Stop it, Captain. Stop it, Captain. All right, Captain. Go walk. Go ahead. Go to the dry land. Get out of here. Go find the dry land. All right, we're gonna go check out the capybaras, see how they're enjoying this flood. I'm not enjoying this flood at all. I don't think Benny is either. You hear him? My he children. hates the flood. Let's move on. My mom's gonna love me on this one. This is the best way to clean off, rinse off, because Kappa Bear's one back. I don't know, whatever. Come on, you guys. I'll tell you something that's a lot warmer than anything right now. The pool. All right, I'll see you guys in a few minutes. All right, so it's time to go feed some of the tortoises and stuff, and it is so wet outside the animals are just trying to find the driest spots possible like check it out chickens are all up high looking to be on high spots right high spots there right high spots there all the chickens are going up as high as they can just to get off of the floor because it is so wet and nasty it's just a pain in the butt we're gonna bring the turkeys in. The turkeys are just not doing too well. They're just way too, too wet. And I just don't feel comfortable leaving out here if another rain comes through. So we're definitely gonna bring them inside and let them dry up a little bit. They just, it's just disgusting. Like, look at it. It's just nasty everywhere. Mud, water, stuff everywhere. We moved Captain earlier, as you guys saw. He went back, he's just a male and he just wants to be as close as he can to the females. So I can't really do anything about that. So he's just gonna stay there. But it is a mess. Uh, Fluffy's cage, as you saw earlier, we had to move him, and definitely happy we did move him in time because it is. I think I just saw a fish. Yeah, it's just flooded out, so that's done there. It is filled of water everywhere, though. It is a mess. Look how deep it is out here. Ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous. Like, let's go. Let's go take an overall view of what the property looks like right now. Let's go check it out. So yeah, water everywhere. Literally water everywhere. Football right there, staying dry. But this is this is upsetting how much water has came through. Like this is a whole pasture underwater. All you see is islands of ants. Incredible. So we definitely have to come up with an idea. Put it down in the comments. Any contract uh what's that part? Uh construction worker people any things of that sort that have any good ideas that you guys think i should do to uh somehow figure out the flooding i can't pump the water out to the street there is no sewers over there there's no sewers on my street actually at all so we can't do that uh suggesting um uh, which one to call it 
it's in the middle it's like a freaking giant bowl so i don't know what do you guys think there's a lot of turtles in there i can tell you that and who knows where they're at they can't get out of there the water level is high it's very very high right now like all flooded completely flooded this is the second time of 2020 that this much water has come here i'm hoping no more water does come here that it will keep it like this but we'll see and put it down in the suggestions as well what trees you think i should put in this area as well that will help bring the water down some like quickly like i need it to like suck it up fast so put it down in the uh, comments as well what do you guys think but this is sucks this really sucks uh one thing that we are doing i already know ed and i have been talking a lot already figuring it all out it's because there's a big pond that's going to be putting over the waterfall and we can't let the pond get overflow with water so we have to figure all that stuff out there's just so many things that we have to get done in the next couple of months that are just getting done for this whole aviary build, which sucks. Like, look at all that water. That's like a freaking swamp. Crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. All right, so we got to catch up these freaking uh, turkeys, move them in, and see what we're going to do. Maybe. Oh, look, cat bears. We took the cat bears out. They're eating grass because I wanted to let them graze and, you know, take a little look. You guys good over there? A lot of water. Look, even the chicken. Look at the chicken. Look at the chicken. The chicken's on the back of... I know, Kathy. The chickens are going on the back of the goats to stay dry. That's how wet the floor is. Like, they're just sick of the floor being wet. Hey, you guys, look at the chickens. They're going on the back of the, the goats because they're so wet, they don't want to be wet no more. They're just so, they're sick of the water. Non-stop water, just trying to dry up. That is really funny. All right, so I gotta jump down and hopefully I don't fall. Let's see how this goes and uh, yeah. Yeah, I know, they're everywhere. They're trying to stay dry. Look at the capybaras. Thing one, thing two. Watch yourself, watch Lola. Good work. Get in front of her, get in front of her, get in front of her. Open that gate. Push, walk, walk, walk. You gotta teach them how to get the goats corrals back in. Good work. All right, so as you guys see the capybaras out, I just got done feeding a bunch of produce and fruits to all the tortoises. The tortoises don't really mind the water as long as there's area for them to stay dry. I know it's kind of loud because there is no insulation here above you. And it is very, very noisy underneath this area, but I'm really sick of getting wet as well. That's why all the cranes are up top too. They're just sick of getting in the rain, but they have waterproof feathers. The water just drips right off of them. So it's not a problem. Really funny thing is, is Maya has a complete dry area of my spectacle owl and she's just sitting there in the rain. But like I told you guys before, spectacle owls are from South America. So they're used to these kind of climates, even though she might've been born in captivity, which she was, it's just instinct for them to be used to the wetness. And the capybaras are having this whole area now to graze, eat green grass, and they jumped over this pin and they're eating all the tortoise food now. They're, like the animals are never happy. They always want to get more and more and more and more. Right, Bob? Right? You good over there? Yeah. yeah. But um, other than that, everything is okay. We just made a little bit of upgrade for the goat spot so the goats have a little bit of a drier area. And yeah, there's really not much we could do except hope it stops raining, but I don't know if it's going to stop raining. So I'll update you guys in a couple hours and see how it goes and like that this is how bipolar south florida is it is completely no clouds now look at the capybaras i don't know if you guys see the capybaras right there look at them right there see here see right there you guys see here? just walking around capybaras are out here it's just been a hectic day today uh all the animals are out of their little homes right now they're like oh here with it Nice and muddy too now because all the mud. Everything in this area has already dried up. It's already like late, late evening here on the ranch. And uh, yeah, everything's looking great. Stay tuned for the next upcoming videos because I'm 100% sure we're going to have some more issues coming soon. I know that I have to move some of the big tortoises and some of the big tortoises have been like doing some weird things. Yeah, I, I don't know. But uh, make sure you guys stay tuned. Follow along. Always keep those post notifications on. Like these videos. Athena's a freaking crack. Look at her running around. Water's still high all over here. I can tell you that much. It is still very, very high. But again, it's coming down and it's looking good.
We are definitely gonna have some interesting videos coming soon for you all, for all of you. But um, yeah, I think we're good. I don't know what else to tell you guys, except I got freaking wet all day long and now it's dry finally and my feet are cleaner than they were earlier. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace out everyone and have a good day. Stay dry if you're in South Florida. And uh, right Zeta? And I'll see you guys later. Peace out everyone.